this video is a quick tutorial on how to check the oil in a 20 kW generator. If you have a 12, a 17, an 18, a 22, a, a Generac, a GE, they're all very similar. This just happens to be a 20 kW RESA Kohler. When you come up to the unit, you will see the dipstick, which is how you check the oil. And then you have your cap, which is where you pour the oil in if you need to add oil. You may not need to add oil, but you're going to check it. If you need to add it, then you will add it. This is your oil filter here, air filter, and other parts of the engine. What you will do, forgive me, I only have two hands here. You will pull the dipstick out and you will hold the rag on the dipstick so you don't drip oil. And you will notice there is an area right here that has hash marks in it. Low, full, and the operating range. You want your oil to be about an eighth of an inch below the full mark, not over full. Over full is very bad for the engine. What you will do is you will pull the dipstick out, wipe it off, make sure that it's clean, put it back in the hole, you will pull it back out, and then you will check the oil. You will notice this one is about half full. I just added a quart to it. To add the oil, you take the cap off, put a funnel there so you don't spill oil down the front of the engine and make a mess. Add a little bit at a time until you reach the proper level. Now this one, we added a little bit of oil because I came out here and it was empty. So we come out, we put some oil in it just to see That is a locked up engine from running out of oil. This generator is now a boat anchor that needs to be replaced. Brand new generator, 90 hours on it. Nobody checked the oil, ran it out of oil, and now they need a new generator. It is vital that you check the oil on a small air-cooled engine every 24 hours. You should check the oil on every engine every 24 hours. But these little guys only hold two quarts of oil. Check your oil or you're going to buy another generator.